I want nobody but you. Hello, my bits, my little bits of sunshine, that is. How are you today? My name is Veronica. Myself and my other half are with Chasing Sunshine by Veronica. Today, we're going to create an upcycled earring display so that we can show off all our goods. We're using flower sack in the Sweet Pickens paint line with this gorgeous packaging interested in this type of content and you love chippy drippy beautifulness stick around till the bitter end and you'll see how we created this look at all the chippy drippy loveliness if you're interested in watching the techniques that we use today and how flower sack works on a plain palette board Stick around, and as always, you can purchase any of the painter products that we use today on our website, chasing sunshine by v.com. Without further ado, let's jump right into the project. We're going to be using flower sack in the milk paint line, and we're just going to apply it in two thin coats over this little palette board. Just before the video, I did coat that palette board with a chalk spray paint in the color black in the hopes that the black parts will poke through when the chippy, drippy loveliness happens. If you've tried this technique with the dark color underneath milk paint, let me know in the comments below if it worked for you. This beautiful piece of widget bin is number 1233. You can find it over on our website, chasingsunshinebyv.com, if you're interested in purchasing it. We also put a coat of that chalk black spray paint on it, and we are now going to heat it up so that it'll lie completely flat upon the surface. When you do apply your glue to the surface of the widget bin, you definitely want to ensure not to oversaturate the widget bin with the glue because it then will just scooch out and make a big old mess. So just use your best judgment. After you get your wood you've been molding on your surface, you want to make sure you apply even pressure and do reheat it just a little tad bit to ensure that it's stuck down. Alrighty guys, I did mix my milk paint prior to filming. I mixed one part milk paint to one part warm water and stirred, stirred, stirred. You are supposed to let it sit for about 10 minutes to kind of let all those bubbles calm down um, within your paint. As I start applying the paint within the widget bin molding, I have to really jam it down into all the nooks and crannies. And so for that reason alone, I always use a chip brush when I apply a milk paint to areas like that. Now, don't be alarmed, guys. I am a multitasker at heart. So here we go with a two heat guns trying to get this going. So if you're a chippy lover like myself, then this is the good method to go because when you introduce a heat gun to a milk paint it does encourage that chippiness to happen more prominent okie dokie time for a coat number two and so also one thing to keep in mind when you're painting with milk paint if you are looking for like a super chippy distressed look you do not have to get in every single nook and cranny i have to remind myself of this every time i use milk paint because i tend to want to cover every square inch of my projects but you're just wasting paint you're gonna want a chippy drippy loveliness anyway so just kind of be sparingly with the paint really honestly that's a good tip pro tip Alrighty, that's it. That's all. Two coats, a little dry dry, and then we're going to go outside for a bit of sanding. Have you ever used Sweet Pickens milk paint? What is your favorite color? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, folks, there she is. Isn't she a gorgeous? Yes. Look at all that chippiness. All that's left to do is put a few nails in so that it can hold the earrings and display them nicely. One more step, don't forget to wax your project with DIY wax. And that's all there is to it. Anybody could create this look with the help of Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. 
If you're interested again in purchasing any of the paint or material that we use today, hop on over to ChasingSunshineByV.com. Thanks so much for your time, guys. We really appreciate everything that you do for us. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the little bell notification, so that every time we upload a video, you're notified. And as always, chase that sunshine, whatever that means for you. Bye, guys. So now you're here again, knocking at my door A little too late for, I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started